In this video, we'll bounce the equation for pH 3 plus O2. So let's count the atoms up on each side of the equation and then balance it. We have one phosphorus, three hydrogens, and then we have these two oxygens. Product side, we have four phosphorus atoms. Hydrogens, we have two. And here's where people have problems. We have 10 oxygens. But we also need to count this one out here. So we have 11 oxygen atoms. And that's what makes this a little bit different. Let's leave the oxygens to last, and then let's just balance the phosphorus atoms first. We could put a four in front of the pH three, one times four, that would give us four phosphorus atoms. They would be balanced three times four. Now we have 12 hydrogen atoms. Okay, we could put a six in front of the water here. We'd have two times six, that would give us 12 oxygen atoms, then we'd need to update the oxygen atoms. So we'd have our 10 plus we'd have one times six, we'd have 16. But that's fine because the oxygen here, it's all by itself. So if we just put an eight in front of the O2, two times eight, that would give us 16. We'd be done. This equation is balanced. The key to doing well with this equation is that, first of all, you need to make sure you count up all the oxygens here. Don't forget this oxygen on the water. And then the other thing is, when you're balancing it, leave oxygen till last. That makes it a lot easier, especially since this O2 is by itself. When we finally change this O2 here, it won't change the phosphorus or the hydrogen atoms. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for pH 3 plus O2. Thanks for watching.